two other sore spots though that I would think might have might come to mind. Maybe you don't view them in this way. Stem from quantum field theory, which I imagine is what you are referring to when you say it's like the most successful theory we have. And the two that I have in mind are dealing with all of these problematic infinities with plausibly ad hoc uh, technical tricks like renormalization. That's one thing that some people I think find problematic. And then the other, which you alluded to is, is quantum gravity, but maybe that's not so much a sore spot for you with quantum mechanics as it is just a, a problem with general relativity. But those are two, two potential sore spots I'm curious to hear about. I meant neither of them. And I'm glad you asked because I think I didn't, I didn't express myself uh, very clearly. So I think it's important to distinguish between quantum mechanics as a sort of basic framework um, and its many applications. Okay. So uh, what I would think of as quantum mechanics is effectively a theory of information. It's really about how information is distributed, what it means to know something, and, uh, and what it means to communicate something. And this is a very bare bones framework. It says that, um, you know, states are, I mean, you, you can literally, you know, the first thing I tell students in the quantum mechanics class is, you know, states are vectors in Hilbert space. It's a mathematical thing observables are Hermitian operators. It doesn't matter right now what these things are, but there's like a, a set of things you say, and then you put them together, and here's your theory. Um, and this doesn't say anything about whether the world has electrons in it, or photons, or uh, quarks, or maybe strings, maybe not, I don't know. It's, it's just a very basic framework, and now here's you, how you calculate probabilities. Here's what happens when you forget about part of your system, and suddenly you have, you have to talk about probabilities. So that framework, for example, doesn't suffer from the kind of infinities that we might have to worry about in quantum field theory. Um, those infinities have to do with something that has very little to do with quantum mechanics. It has to do with the fact that um, we, we quantum field theories are generally effective field theories, meaning that they're intended to describe the world at certain distance and energy scales and not at higher energies than that and shorter distances than that. Uh, if it were necessary to know how the universe works all the way down to the shortest distances, then we would have never made any progress, right? We still don't know that. Uh, so but we come down with our effective descriptions where at a certain energy it makes sense to talk about el electrons. Uh, it makes sense to talk about photons. Uh, you know, it makes sense to talk about atoms, for example, but maybe at much higher energies it doesn't make sense anymore because, you know, the atoms will be blown apart and you have to discuss nuclei and electrons. Uh, even higher energies, you talk about individual parts of the nuclei, like neutrons, protons, maybe quarks, and so on. That's, that's a story of phenomenology. It's a bit like, um, yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's an inventory, and you don't know the inventory all the way down to the short distance scales, and that causes some problems. But that, I don't think it has anything to do with deep problems about quantum mechanics. Um, quantum gravity is an incredibly deep problem. Uh, about which I think we talked a fair bit last time. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm definitely very open to the possibility that when we discover the right theory of quantum gravity, that it might involve some modification of quantum mechanics and not just of general relativity. I remember being sort of irritated as a, um, even in high school when I heard about people wanting to quantize gravity all the time, I had literally no idea what I was talking about, but it felt like, wait, wait why are they so, what, how do they know that something's wrong with gravity and not with quantum mechanics? Like, why, why are they already picking a winner? You know, like mm -hmm. maybe, and, and, uh, and part of me still feels like, you know, that would be kind of cool if we discover, you know, something that, that also tells us that quantum mechanics is just an approximation to something else. Um, but, but again, we, I think it's remarkable that we can't be sure about that. 